In this video, I'm gonna take you through eight simple steps to start your business and to do it right. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do when you start your business, before you do anything else, is conduct market research know who your market is, know who your audience is. So the first way to figure that out is to go over to competitors and just see how they're talking about their own business and what kinds of people are purchasing from them. You can check social media and see what people are saying. Are the comments good or bad? Another way to figure this out is to create your own audience persona, which is to try to figure out who the ideal person is that's gonna purchase from your business, who your business helps the most. You can create a poll on social media, create surveys, ask people what they need. That's usually the most direct way to get answers. Um, you can also gather focus groups, really any way you have of attaining this information and trying to figure out who exactly it is that will use your business. Create a business plan. So this is a really crucial step to starting your business and even though it might sound daunting, it's important you don't skip it. A business plan is basically your vision for your business. Um, it just outlines what it is you want to achieve and how you think you're going to achieve it. For some people that just looks like a one pager, which is just a short document with broad goals. Other people, it's a little longer. We created a whole blog post on this, so feel free to check out our blog if you want to know more about this. Make sure you have that down on paper and that it's really, really clear to you what your vision for your business is figure out your financial strategy. I know for a lot of people, this is the most stressful thing in the whole world. It doesn't have to be, but it is really important that you do this now because it will only help you later. So a way that I find really helpful is to create a spreadsheet um, and just sort of lay out what it is you are going to need to fund. If that's inventory, if you need a place for your store, a place to rent, whatever it is, and also how it is you're going to get the money to do that. So for some people, they apply for small business loans and grants. That's a really good option. Um, another way is to crowdfund. So you can use sites like Kickstarter and get a bunch of people to just contribute to your dream. And finally, you can always um, just keep your job for a little while and try to save up as much money as you can um, and be able to fund your business yourself. So you don't need to go to anyone externally for help. Pick a location. So this step is actually more important than people think because it's really important to think about where your target demographic is and make sure your store is somewhere that they can easily reach it. And also it's something to think about is if there are stores nearby that can help you or hurt you. Because if you're near your competitors and you're new on the block, people might not know to come to you. Um, so that's just something to think about. Even if your business is only online, it's still important to know where you're going to host your website and that they have all the capabilities that you need for your business. Dot your legal eyes. So this is the paperwork part of starting your business um, and it's really, really important to get this out of the way so you don't run into any hiccups later. It, depending on where you live, there might be different processes you need to go through in order to start your business. So in the States, let's say that could be setting up a corporation, an LLC, you may need a tax ID number, um, permits, depending on what it is that you're doing. Make sure that you have done all of the paperwork you need to successfully start your business. Choose an accounting system. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a separate bank account for your business so you can track any expenses, money going in, money coming out. Um, and a really, really easy way to keep track of all of your finances is just to get an accounting software. There are so many options for small businesses. We covered a lot of them in our blog post, so check it out and find which one's best for you. Build your team. If you're a solopreneur, you can go ahead and skip this step. If you're trying to build a team, here's what you should keep in mind. Know what your vision is really, really, really clearly so you can articulate it, right? That's part of why we created a business plan earlier. It's really important for you to have a clear vision when you're building your team so you can communicate it to employees and so they know if they're on board with what you're doing, right? Something really, really important when you're hiring is to have employees that actually believe in your company and in what you're trying to do. Develop a branding and marketing strategy. So just like you have a personality, it's really important for your business to have a personality for your customers to connect with. So there's a really good way to do this, which is to create what's called a brand identity. An identity for your brand or your business basically just expresses the vibe that you want your business to have. So if you're fun, if you're professional, whatever you think your customers will most connect with, that's the vibe you're going for. So to do this, you're gonna create a logo for your business, you're gonna find colors, fonts, everything that you think will best express your brand identity. The next thing to do is to create a website. It's really important for your customers to be able to find you online, regardless if you're an online business or a brick and mortar. Um, so make sure you have that down. And after you create your website, get set up on all the social media channels. That's Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Your audience can be a lot of places and you wanna make sure to show up where they are. So that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really hope it was helpful and we'd really love to hear from you. Let us know about your business in the comments below and I'll see you at the next video.